Hello guys, welcome back to another one of my motorhome vlogs. Um, this is going to be a slightly different vlog to my normal motorhoming because um, number one, we've sold our motorhome, which means we haven't really got one to be able to do vlogs in. Now we've um, used to have the Swift 686 Lifestyle, um, which is a six berth van, and we got rid of it because the kids don't come over as much now, and we've decided to downsize. So we get, we've got a, an Adria Twin um, on order which we should be fingers crossed hopefully picking up on the 12th of April in a couple of weeks now um, and I'll do a little vlog off that van and I'll start touring again and doing some vlogs hopefully if the pandemic starts to die off in this country so this um, but this vlog that I'm going to be doing this today is going to be about TVs and 12 volt TVs for motorhomes and camper caravans um, and it's come about because a lot of people um, were on the forums asking what sort of TVs that people get. And so I thought I'd do a little one showing you how you can do it quite cheap compared to the really expensive ones. Now some of the main TV producers out there are Avtech, which are, are probably the best ones out there and a lot of people buy them. Um, and they are really good TVs. Um, and the one good thing about them is that the viewing angle, when you're viewing them from a different angle, they don't get the ghosting that a lot of them get. Um, they also come with built-in DVD, but not a lot of people use that nowadays. Um, their smart TV side of it, I don't think it's that good. I don't think it does Netflix and stuff. It just does the main on-demand um, channel, so that ain't great. And the biggest downside with them is they're £400, or just over £400, which is a lot of money, just because you want a 12-volt TV. Um, the other ones is uh, Cello, I think it's called, um, which do a good TV. They used to be really bad for ghosting on the angles. Um, but a couple of people saying they're not so bad now, but they're still ranging it out to about two hundred pounds, and it's not even a smart TV. And um, there's one beginning with S, which I can't remember. I know Ferguson do one again at over two hundred pounds, and again not smart. Um, so they're quite expensive, and realistically, all these TVs they all run normally on something around about nineteen volts. So I'm going to show you how you can do this on any TV as long as it's got a nineteen volt connection, and I'm going to do it with an LG TV that I've got, so I'll show you that. So and scrub the camera. So first, we look at the TV that I'm look, gonna go for. Right, so this is my LG TV, and I'll write the model number in the link below um, about this one. And this cost around about 90 odd pounds when I bought it. Um, they're probably just over 100 now, but you can see some others up there. I mean, there's a logic, I don't know how good these TVs are, um, but there's a few going there around 100 pounds. And when you look at these TVs, if you look in a shop, you're looking to see whether it's got one of these power supplies that powers it. So they say they're 240 volts, and they've got a 240 volt connection going in here. But what comes out the other side, this side, is 19 volts normally. And it normally say it on the side, on here. So this one says it's 19 volts, 1.7 amps. And so they're basically same, exactly the same as a computer power supply. And most of the TVs are like that on this size, this 24 inch, because um, the insides of these TVs are not much difference to the power supplies that you that powers a laptop um, screen. Um, and if you go bigger than this, it sometimes goes up to 33 volts because the, the, the power is needed to make the screen light up the screens, and that's the reason why they go a bit bigger. But these will run 19 volts. So what you can get, and I've got one here, is a DC to DC converter, and this has got a 12 volt input from your leisure battery, and it gives out 19 volts at 3 amps. And this costs five five quid. So with this and the TV, you're looking at about 110, 120 pounds, and you've got a pretty good TV because LG are really good, especially at viewing angles, quality of sound, and everything. They've had a lot more experience in building TVs than some of the other camper van TVs that you see out there. Um, and the other one I'm looking at is a smart TV, the LG. And so I'll show you what's working in a minute. The one I'm going to be looking at, I think, is this one. This is a well, this, I've just found this one. This is £127, and this is Smart HD Ready. And one of the things you're looking at when you're looking at LG is on the back of it, which it's not going to work now. Where was down here? Yeah, that'll do. See, on the back of it, you can see this little round connection. I'll show you the back of this one. And that's the same connection as this TV's got, um, which is normally the 19 volts connection input. Um, so that this should run, I can just about make out a 19 on it. Um, so I'm going to buy this one anyway because I'm going to need a second tele. Because tele, if, this, if this doesn't work, I'll swap it over this because this is my computer tele from in my computer room. Um, so I'll get this TV and see if it works. And I'll put that model number on, on this link as well 
um, and I'll be putting it on the Facebook sites um, so, to show it. And if anyone's got small TVs like this at home, please comment below and tell me what power supplies they're running on, because then we can start making out a collection of models that can run these that, of TVs that will run on 12 volts. So I'll just connect this up and I'll show you it now working. Because at the moment this is running on 240. Right, so I've just unplugged the telly and you can see what I've done is I've just cut, I've just unplugged the back. So this is the plug in the back of the telly. Um, and it's it's one of these plugs where it's got a little pin in the middle. Now you can go out and buy, if I've got it around here somewhere, a selection of these. And it's the one at the end. I don't know what it's called, what number it's called, because there's nothing, no markings on this. But that connection will fit into the telly. And so you could solder the cables from the back here straight into the 19 volt side of this inverter. Um, but I didn't have these at the time, so I cut the cable off this power supply, which is just as good. Um, so with the power supply disconnected, I now have the lead, and the white cable there is the positive. And the outside shrouding ca cable, or, um, screening cable, is going to be the negative. So to connect this up onto this inverter, we connect the yellow cable, which is the positive side out here. It says it all on there. Yeah. So we just twist them wires together. You can solder these crimpleys or whatever you want to do. I'm going to leave them open bare at the moment. Like that. Making sure they don't touch. And then these two are going to go to a leisure battery. Now I've got leisure battery in, in this workshop. I've got a 12 volt power supply, so I'm going to connect it up to that 12 volt power supply. And right, so now it's powered up. The TV's working again, um, same as it was earlier. But this time we're running it from the output here, the 19 volts that's coming out from this DC to DC converter. And my power supply is providing the 12 volts. And you can see it's pulling about 1.6 amps, which is what the side is um, on the back of the TV it says 1.7 amps, it's almost spot on. So you get an idea of what sort of power you, you're pulling on this. So it works perfectly well, and so you can see the TV's running. And the good thing about these is they don't, when you switch the TV off, which I do now, you see my current drops off to zero. Um, and these pull really, really, really minimum amount of current when not being used. Whereas if you was doing this, what a lot of people say, they're getting an inverter and they change the 12 volts up to 240 volts and then they run the TV, any old TV off of that. The problem with that scenario is the inverters pull current even when they're not being used. With no load on them, they're still producing current and they're still dissipating heat, which is coming off your batteries. So I'll just switch it, telly back on. You see when it goes back on, if you watch the current meter, it does flick over to 1.6 um, on startup. It goes almost up to 1.7 amps, which is the reason why the power supply is weighted that high. Um, but yeah, so that's all set up and running now. So I'll just show you the model number on this TV. Right, so for this TV, it's a 22MT44D. Um, and I'll write this in the description, like I said. If you ever see any of these going for sale on eBay, you know now that these will run on the 19 volts. But these ones actually say on them, 19 volts at 1.6 amp. And this is the plug I was talking about, and it's got writing next to it of uh, DC 19 volts. Um, so that's what you're looking for, really. But they will have different ones of different plugs. As long as they've got this brick, electronic switching gear, um, and you've got a voltage on that, and if it's said on that it's running on 33 volts, you should be able to buy a DC DC 33 volt converter and still run it. Um, the biggest problem is when you're buying online, a lot of the manufacturers nowadays don't like to tell you what the voltage is on here. They just say, TV runs on 240 volts even though it doesn't um, and that's the hard bit is trying to find out what it actually runs on. So as you can see here this is a blower pump um, and it doesn't tell you here what power supply this runs on um, and when you look at the back of the TV you can't really tell where the connections are so it's really hard and even when you go specifications they say there that it runs on 240 volts when I, I doubt that TV runs on 240 volts it will be converted down at some point, even is internally. And that's the other thing, If it, depending on how your um, confidence you are, you can take the back of the TV off and you'll probably find most TVs will run uh, a tw t uh, 19 volts at this size screen, maybe 33 volts at the bigger screens, but it won't be on 240 volts because of the electronics inside. Um, 
there's a few selections there of TVs. These all, these are all 24 inch. You can see the prices at 150 pounds there, and so they're a lot lower um, than some of the 12 volt ones you see out there. The only downside I would say that, that the well not downside, but these ve like Veltec never used before, so I'm not going to recommend it any of these. And um, there's a Samsung there. Be interesting to see if that what that shows in the back. That don't even show anything in the back of that one. So all these TVs, they all have model numbers. So if anyone's got these TVs in their kitchens at home, um, or in their spare rooms or something like that, or kids' rooms, um, please have a look at the back of it and tell us what power supply it runs on. See if it's got one of these bricks, and if it has, what voltage it runs on, and then tell us the model number, and we can make a list up of all these TVs that you could run a DC to DC converter, and everyone could have cheaper TVs, and I would say better than the caravan TVs, because. Samsung and LG have been doing TVs a lot longer than they have and they've got the money to be able to make better smart smart TVs where you get all the apps and everything else so hopefully this has been um, of, of use to you lot and please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because that helps me build my channel and when I get my van we we'll do a little vlog of the van and I'm going to be building a solar bat battery system in that van which is using the Victron hopefully lithium um, batteries and I'll be doing a DC DC probably with the van um, alternator depends on whether Adrian's already got one fitted um, which I'm still struggling to find out so I'll, let, I'll do all them um, re vlogs and stuff over the next um, six months or so as we start to build up our new van so hopefully this has been interesting um, give us a comment below if you need um, to understand any more about it just give me a shout and I'll try and explain it um, and I'll probably try and get it on one of my vlog vlogs as well yeah Hopefully, um, yeah, so thanks for watching and uh, good luck for this future.